performance evaluation. Richard Patermatch. Patermack, probably. Is this uh, oh supervisor Janice Greenbrier? Look at this, Exle uh, exemplary in every form. Ranger Peter Mack has been indispensable during the course of the prescribed bird preparation and execution. I believe his expertise and dedication has been the deciding factor in the success of a very complex and challenging conversation, uh, conservation effort. In the opinion of the Flintlock Forest staff, Rick's contribution to daily operations have become essential to the outfit's continuing success. Formless submitting paperwork, requesting permanent reassignment. Now was Ranger Peter Mac this good? Or is good old mother dear making him look this good because she wants him to stay? Hmm. I believe uh, I'm not gonna comment right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna come to jump to conclusions until I have the full evidence. But uh, I have my suspicions, shall we say. I just love how the story develops, <laughs> just from little, little clips and snippets of, 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 of letters and, and text. It's just brilliant, isn't it? Anyway, what's this? Halloween show, The Misfits. See you there, Stiggy and Lounge. Don't forget your costume. Oh. Sometimes you just have to lie to Mom and Dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Oh, oh. We've gone from Street Fighter, Ghost Hunter, and now we're seeing shows. Well, I see we there seeing shows together. Okay, yes, lots of hugging going on. It's getting there. We're getting there, Sam, old dear, aren't we? It's the slow and slow and steady wins the race. What's this? Hey, hey, did it clockwise? Said, uh, Woo! That looks painful. Healthy choices, skills for a healthful, a healthy life. What's this say? Oh, it's that radio station. Exactly. Secret passage marked on map. Press to ooh. ooh, 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 ooh! There's a secret passage here. Where, Lonnie? Holy crap! I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner, and I found a secret passage. And it has Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. Where is this? There! It's a secret room downstairs and it's located in here. Oh, but we're gonna. Of course, we're gonna have to explore this. Are you crazy? Heavens to Betsy. Yeah. You know what's still bugging me, folks? <laughs> uh, Sam's combination locker. I have a feeling that we've missed something. I have a feeling we've missed the code. Captain Allegra and the first mate. Your costume, my costume. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. So maybe she's basing their relationship on... Uh, or basing her story about Captain Allegra and first mate on her and uh, her and Lonnie. Is this actually a costume? Yeah, this is the costume. That's nifty. Oh, 
But I don't need anything sewing today, so that's fine, thank you. What's this book? Let me see, I can't see it. Let me get into the light. Take me to the light. Oh, is this the nineties version of Fifty Shades of Grey? Wildfire! He saved her from the raging flames and then things really heated up. <laughs> oh, bloody corny. Ay, ay, ay. So, okay. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, I think I've missed the code. I, th I might be wrong. The code might crop up later at some point. On a something like, maybe on a note like this or something. That I've overlooked. One of the written notes somewhere, perhaps. Anyway. I bet there's nothing majorly important in there, to be perfectly frank with you. Unless, of course, it's in her attic room. But I'm not going... Oops, a daisy. I did say I wasn't going to uh, move too quickly, didn't I? <laughs> I lied. Uh, we're going to go back round, back round. There's no signal. No, no four-digit... Uh, a four digits thing on there. Is it here? Oh, it's in Mum and Dad's bedroom in the left hand closet. So turn around, go back here. Go here. How on earth is there a secret passage in here? Are you joking? Oh, 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 isn't that nifty? Secret passages now, eh? The hell's all this stuff? Ghost Hunters, Sam and Lonnie's Secret. House investigation log. Hidden compartments found three. One in the library, one in the upstairs hall, and one in the foyer. Oh. Hidden compartments marked on map. Press two to find out more. So there's one there. There's one here. This is downstairs, of course. So one in Dad's office, and the, oh, one in the library, one in the uh, main entrance way, just off the foyer, and one on this floor. So we're going to go uh, back to this one, have a look in that, and we'll have a look at the other two. Unless, of course, this brings us downstairs. God, that's so creepy, isn't it? So creepy. What's this cross? Oh, do the light just turn off? Okay, I don't like this. <laughs> the light just blew on me. <laughs> oh, thunder. <laughs> oh dear. I don't like it. Right. There's one in the library, and that's where we are right now. Uh, it's on the back wall, I think. Here? No, it's here. Or maybe it's here? Maybe it's behind the bookcase? Here? No. If I come in from Dad's office and turn left, it's in the back. Oh, it's, I know where it is. It's here. It's on the back wall. Probably this one. Oh, there we go. The Misfits. At Tot's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. 
The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust. And then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hope she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Oh, so sweet, isn't it, eh? Alright, what's this? Second combo scrap. Property of Sam. Half of Sam's locker combo. Ah! Locker combo. So I haven't missed the locker combination. I can breathe easy once again. Oh! Private. Do not read. Which means exactly the opposite. It means please read on. <laughs> the edge... Oh, heaven. At the edge of the world. The Green Glacier Part 2. Oh, it's Captain Allegra. I think. Allegra and her scouting party peered down warily through the dense canopy of rustling leaves from their perch high in the forest branches. Mere feet away, sunlight shone brightly off the inner ice walls of the glacial basin in which the forest grew. It was a strange sight indeed, such lushness, juxtaposed with the frigid ice formations. Allegra leapt forward without hesitation, bounding through the high branches. The first maids had been captured by the Green Glacier's Am Am Amazonian tribe, his life hung in the balance. We have to hurry! Allegra's party followed behind, moving quietly as a breeze through the greenery. Allegra landed in the clearing and shouted, Stop! She saw the Queen Amazonian up on her pedestal, reaching for the lever that would drop her first mate into the vat below. She shouted, No! and flung her sabre at the Amazon's reaching hand, but it was too late. The first mate screamed as he fell toward the water and splashed down all was eerily silent. Allegra looked on, frozen in fear and remorse. She had been a moment too late. But then, from the vat, something began to emerge. A head of dark brown hair, just like the first mate's, and the shoulders the sleeves of his coat, soaking wet. But as the figure stood and the water poured down, Allegra saw that the first mate had changed. He was no longer a man at all. In fact, what looked back at her were the eyes, the face, the hair and hands and body of a woman. Still in the first mate's clothes, still the first mate, he, she spoke in a soft clear voice. Captain? The Amazonian queen said, she is one of us now, she is ours. Allegra drew her magical flintlock pistols from her belt and her crew readied their swords. Allegra glared into the queen's eyes and said, that's the love of my life and you can't have her. Oh, changed from a man to a woman, eh? Oh God! So that's that predates the other book that we just that we read upstairs. Mm -hmm. So that's two pieces of information. The final piece is upstairs, which we're going to go to now, and then we're going to get a locker coat and see what is in Sam's locked locker. Oh, oh, oh I bet it's something juicy, juicy gossip. Uh, so we take a left and then we take a right and it's going to be the middle panel perhaps. There we go. Whee! Oh no, 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 no. I hate this sort of stuff. I hate uh, ghosts and goo. I hate this kind of stuff. Ouija boards. No way. No way. Hey, we have a completed combination. Look in our backpack. 0501. To open, turn first number. Right three times. Stop at turn left and What? Turn right three times. Stop at first number. This sounds very complex. 
Hello? Hello? Who are you? Oscar, what do you want? To come back? Hmm. Okay, so let's, let's figure this out. Oh, it's actually a... Uh, Okay, let me have a look at this. I'm going to try 0501. 0, 0501. Try that first. 0501. Ah, oh, easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Sam? <gasps> Sam! The magazine for men. Gentleman magazine. July 94. Oh my god. Looks like Sam and my father have something in common <clears throat> when it comes to reading literature. Gillian Anderson. Oh, it's her from the X-Files. <laughs> just, just getting another look at it there. Okay, moving swiftly on. Cigarettes as what she smokes. Sam, ah, it's bad for your health. Lonnie. She looks slightly different from a photograph in her... Uh, military uniform. Lonnie came over today. But everything was... different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. It felt like I was going to cry, <clears throat> but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <gasps> <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Major development, eh? Also, another major development is the fact that I seem to have missed the pillows on the floor last time with a note concealed underneath. Hi, Lonnie. I wrote this in the first period and left it in your locker on the way to second. It's what all the cool kids are doing. At this. Uh, doing, I have decided. Write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. This is a good idea. What all the cool kids are actually doing is, uh, what? Sending each other pages on their beepers. Oh. But we're cooler than them because guess what? They can't put this on a beeper. And there's a picture. Two cats on a bike. Your drawing of cats was so good that I've added a background to make it even better. Ah, so she did in the background. Very technical. Haha. <laughs> oh, is it? I put it back Maybe I should just uh, stick to writing, though. I like it. How did you know they were about to be abducted by aliens? I'm looking at Mr. P Fish. Mr. P Fish? I feel like he would probably have lots of cats. Also, like his secret shame, he watches 90210 religiously. <laughs> Ask him about. Okay. He said he doesn't have cats, and also that he's never watched 90210. But I could see in his eyes he was lying. <laughs> All right. Oh, and there's a key in here as well. Don't forget the key to the basement. So, where to now? We have the key to the basement, which is, if we go to the downstairs map, is uh, here. But of course we have the attic to explore first. So we'll explore that first and then we'll go down to the basement. I think what we'll do is we'll explore this now and then uh, we'll end the session before delving deeper into the uh, into the basement level. Right, uh, how do we get in here? Oh no! Damn you, Sam! Damn you! Bloody locked! Right, basement it is then, eh? 
could have taken the shortcut through the secret passage, but it, nope. That place creeps me out. What with the crucifix cross and the uh, things on the wall and the fact that the light blew up, blew out on me and freaked me out. I think I'm going to stay clear of that passage. Okay, so uh, yeah, we'll just meander down this corridor. Hopefully, nothing will jump out and give us a heart attack. And uh, we'll end the session at the uh, entrance to the basement level. Which is right here. So, join me in the next session when we shall head into the basement and continue to explore to find out what's happened to the family. Join me then for that. See you soon.